ominous. <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Massively Overpowered Television as we bring you a look at Darkfall New Dawn. And yes, thank you for... <laughs> See, we have a Devin channel telling you guys that was applying a hotfix. Not that I broke the server by trying to start the stream. Not MJ's fault. MJ did not break the server. They didn't need to put in a hotfix because I broke the server. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to this Monday night edition of some sandbox stuffing. So we are heading in. We're going to be taking a look. I absolutely love this screenshot. So sailing around, stuff like that. Good stuff. Swift Seppuku says I get depression coming here. I never get questions answered. Well, that's not true. Questions get answered all the time, and there is a dev in here to answer your questions. So there you go. You know the person to ask. And wow, this music is just all ominous. This this anonymousness. What? Yeah. All right. I think coffee and fits may be gone for just a bit. I actually did have a couple bites of chicken, and we're ready to go, guys. All ready to spend an hour and a half on character creation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Only an hour, maybe. 38 minutes tops. <laughs> okay, Swift, that's... Um, Swift, that has been answered. <laughs> that has been answered. Because I know I've answered that question. And no, the server is not open um, completely anymore. But that is something to discuss not during this stream. And the schedule is always up. That will say when ARC is done. Alright guys, let's take a look inside. We're going to jump in. Now, the game is full screen mode. And I have it in the right resolution now. So it looks way better than it did when I first logged in earlier. Oh my gosh. It was terrible. Earlier, everybody was like really squat and squished. I had to go out and it was like, I don't know, some kind of 10-something resolution. And I'm like, holy cow, does that resolution even exist anymore, people? I don't even know. All right, so here we go. We're going to take a quick look at the different characters that are available. So you can be all elfy. Look, it tells you who you're allied to. Oh, yeah. These look so much better in the right resolution. <laughs> I like the background of the character pages, too. I mean, who doesn't like, you know, flaming purple thing? Y you know, Whiskers, I think that's what I think. I think that's was it. Yes. I'm a Rotunga now. <laughs> what is this button down here? Why does it look like there's a button there that's missing? I don't know. These guys are called the Alfar. They're the dark elfy like critters. Allies, none. Enemies, everyone. <laughs> everyone. Then you got humans. MJ doesn't like to play humans usually. Humans are boring. I'm already stuck on Earth with a bunch of humans. I don't want to be stuck in game as a human. <laughs> Darth, <laughs> Uber Games official. If you folks like character creation testing, MJ is your answer. <laughs> Here are the orcs. Look at that. They've only got one ally, and that, that would be, not the dwarves. These guys, look at them! Wolfies, man! Oh, whiskers, there you go. I, oh, I don't think, do they have tails? I don't think they have tails, though. Sorry, I think they're tailless again. So... <laughs> Aw, oh, come on, guys. <laughs> All right, so they're only allies with the orcs. That's okay. Enemies to everybody else. Wolf like combine instincts of a natural hunter with a fierce spirituality. I like that fierce spirituality. It's like hallelujah, nom, 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 nom. you know. We'll just... All right, proud civilization, etc., etc., etc. So we're gonna we're gonna jump to next just because we're gonna do next. Yeah. Does that not look like he's got blood all over his mouth? 
No, no, we're gonna go female because MJ plays females. All right, guys, we're not gonna spend an hour on character creation, although you know I easily can. Oh, there's red hair. Wait, do I get red hair? Red skin? Reddish, I can be a red wolf. That's right, that's right. You can get, it. whoa, that's kind of bright. Oh, those are cool. Feathers. Beads or feather. Okay, the feathers are kind of cool. Let's go with the feathers. Face. What is the face shape? Oh, hello. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's kind of cool too. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, every time I think we're done, there's more. Okay, there are 20 of them. All right, we liked number... But, and by we, I mean actually kind of me. Oh, look! I think that's the dev that came in. We're totally going to tab out and we're going to go get him. We're going to assume this is our dev. I don't know. We're going to unmute him. And then we're going to have to switch the channel so we can actually hear what I'm saying. I'm thinking this is Uber Games. Hey! Welcome! Well, thank you. Thank you for, the, for giving me in here. <laughs> yes! Yes, I was trying to watch over there to see if you popped in. Um, so yeah, I've just, I, I have a tendency to take a long time to make a character. So we're gonna, we're gonna speed this up a bit. Wow, that looks absolutely ferocious. Take your time. My rings are awesome. All right, let's, what is forehead? Oh, eye patch, eye patch, beads. Hair. I don't think we have it. Oh, we do have hair. We can wear a hat, apparently. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I actually can have hair. Look at that, guys. I can have hair. Oh. Okay. Oh, having some trouble hearing me? Oh, dear. No, let me... I will... I have a... I can up his mic over here. There we go. His mic is up. Whoops. That be is that better now? Yeah, I have uh, actually mumble normally turned down. Whisker says, do not put shinies in character creation or MJ will never leave it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So actually my wolf can have hair. That kind of throws me off a little. Okay, uh, is it better now? Can you hear me well? I hear, I hear you great. Everybody else? Yeah, Swift. Discord is evil. I hate Discord. It doesn't work in a lot of ways. I don't use it. Although some people might make me use it. It actually is a Patreon goal. So if it ever gets there, fine, I'll use it. If not, it's not going to happen. <laughs> and yes, I have used it before. That's how it got that. Oh my gosh, look, so many little cool... Okay, let's just go with... I, I, I don't know. Guys, I didn't think there were going to be this many decisions. Nose accessory. Alright, we're going to go with no nose. Okay. Next. Let's just go with this. Ah, oh, do you have to have a last name? Yes, you do. Uh, you need to have a first name and a last name. Oh, bummer. Swift, the last time I used Discord was about two hours ago. So, yeah, no, it's not amazing. It still has problems. Ah, uh, I need a name of a wolf. A wolf? Uh-oh. This is my other evil. Uh, you can press generate to have a, a random name uh, pop out. I'm not necessarily... I don't usually like generated names, but if this isn't a character I get to keep, then it doesn't matter, I guess. Death. <laughs> Last names. The lucky? No, not after today, guys. We're not even going to talk about today. Today was... Everything was unlucky. Hmm. Can you do that? 
illegal character in the name. Oh, so you actually have to. Oh, let's see what yeah, else you, you cannot choose space. Uh, you, yeah. you need to only one world. Oh, that's terrible. The pale, the fair, the free, the daring, <laughs> the dreamer. Oh, mischievous. I don't know. Troublemaker. Maybe we should go with that. <laughs> The humble. If anybody had to label themselves the humble, that's just not going to come out. Wow, there are a lot of... Oh, now we're back to lucky. That's a... Um... The energetic. <laughs> These are actually kind of... What do I feel like today? Do I feel lighthearted, kind, proud, the red? Doesn't sound like a, a description. So hey, tell us about how the weekend has gone. So it's been a free look weekend for everybody. How has it gone? Have you seen a lot of players jump in and check it out? Oh yes, yes. Uh, we actually went back to uh, to the base of activity we had uh, in our first time we opened the server. So it's been fairly great. Uh, it, it's been a lot of work as well because we then have to use um, a lot of our time for uh, support and helping our people. But it's been uh, really exciting. We had a lot of fun. Uh... Nice. All right, character name is okay, guys. We're going in, I think. Oh, next. We have to hit next. Oh. Ooh. We have to pick somewhere to start? Uh, at the bottom right of the screen, you have a... Yeah, there you go. Does it is there is there a better place to start or? I uh, know all three um, all three white names are uh, starting cities. They, they are more or less equal. Oh yeah, I, mean, I guess hunter sounds good for a wolf, right? All right. Yes, create this character. Let's do this. So I haven't. Oh, I have good memories of playing in Darkfall some fun times there running around and streaming sieges <laughs> while everyone was trying to keep me alive as the cameraman that was absolutely a riot ah oh, so let's see so you guys are getting ready to just launch yeah in a, in a few days actually we're launching on the 26th oh are you getting nervous like <laughs> yes. all the build up to this Yes, it, it's been two years of work now, and uh, and, and it's, there's so much more to do uh, after release, but we, we're um, pretty excited now. Nice. Yeah, this would be like crunch time. Like, I am, you know what? I, I appreciate that you had time to, to stop in and check this out while we, oh, we're still loading. <laughs> we're loading, guys. We're going to get there. Swift, I'm not going to sit there and have a discourse about something unrelated to the live stream during the live stream especially since i'm focusing on this game and i have a dev in here to answer questions and stuff that would be incredibly rude so no i'm not going to do a discourse on troubles with discord but i am gonna nervously wait to get in game <laughs> let me in let me in by the hair of my chinny chin chin Oh, jeez, what was that sound? Oh, holy crud, it sounded like I was killed. But I'm not. I'm alive. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right. All right. Rawr. Okay, jump. W-A-S-D. Do we have crouch? Uh, nope, that doesn't seem to work for crouch. Just checking the... Press escape to toggle interface mode. Escape. Oh, hello. The hotbar. This is your hotbar window. Oh, wow. Over there. Oh, that's going to take some getting used to. Um. Yeah, the, <laughs> the tutorial is very uh, chatty for now. It's a wall of text everywhere. Uh, a new version is being built right now. but <laughs> You can just skip the reading. Uh, or you can just read it now if you want. But that's going to add another 30 minutes to your, uh, to your stream. Oh, my. So we're just going to hit next everything. 
We well, don't can... we don't need to know what all this, you know, stuff is. No, we don't need to know. You, you can just go in options and uh, completely shut down the um, the tutorial if you wish. All right, let's see. Find the counselor. Find the counselor. All right, we have a big glowy thing over here. Let's come take a look at it. Ooh, nice looking stone. Oh, this is a clan station. Okay. Well, I'm not a clan, so never mind. Rawr! <laughs> yeah, there, there are sea fortresses in the game that are deactivated right now, but uh, when someone captures them, they can uh, start advertising on those uh, clan stations. So it's more of a, um, you know, pride, clan pride uh, item. Ooh! Oh, and Whiskers, we've uh, recently switched to local banking, so there's a lot of uh, location to store things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, local banking is so nice. Oh, what? I need the Well, does that count the same for any kind of commerce? Uh, yes. Um, actually, it, we, we're trying to... Um, to get people to to do trade between cities and um, and really focus on the economy, so we uh, we split up all the individual banks into uh, separate uh, storages, and uh, you've got marketplaces in uh, every uh, city, and uh, you can just um, store things at one location and uh, and maybe sell it uh, more expensive elsewhere. Nice, I do love that type of gameplay. All right, this is wait. The counselor is a vendor? Uh, yes, it's it's both a vendor and it helps you uh, pick your starting weapons and it gives you the starting quests. It's like of your uh, you know your first uh, contact in the in the game world. If you if you wish to get the quest, you go on the quest tab. If you want to switch uh, like your starting weapon, you can uh, swap them. Uh... Uh, yeah, it's saying to use a bow. That's that's not going to happen very well for MJ here. Uh, cast spells. Spells, spells sound good. 20 gold piece, do I have 20 gold piece? Oh, I may not get to swap, wait. Oh, uh, no, not yet, you don't have gold piece yet, so. Eh, sorry about that, but do, do start the quest, they, they will start you up with a lot of gold. Oh, I already have a Dawn Staff, Never mind. I'm good. Yes, you, you start out with um, a first sword, a Dawn Staff, and a bow, and a few regents and a few things to start up. If you look uh, underneath your bag, you, you will see that you have what we call a weapons bar. Imagine it is like, a, you know, your weapons on a, on a FPS game, so if you scroll your mouse wheel, you will uh, swap weapons, and uh, it will swap context as well for, for your old bar. Okay. Nice. And, and Whiskers, uh, the way we did uh, local banking is that we, we have a, a global gold account. At any bank, you can uh, drop some gold in for a commission fee from the gnomes, and uh, and then you will be able to access that gold from any uh, other banks or marketplaces. All right, do I have to buy any of these spells, or are these supposedly spells I already know? Those are the, those you already know, and uh, and when you reach the level for a new spell, it will unlock automatically. <laughs> Firebolt. Okay, I'm happy. All right, let's uh, let's look at the let's get a quest, guys. Locust in the hunting grounds. Kill four goblins. Yes, yes. Hunter's moon. We want to kill stuff. Nice. And there's another quest. Gather goblin axes. Yeah, totally. We'll get oh wow that is a really really loud ding that's is there any way to turn that down a little bit what uh yes in the in the options you can get the audio options all right is it is that 3d sounds i wonder uh no no it's oh. the main sound volume uh oh yeah the lowest options well i don't want to get rid of all the sounds just that that really loud ding Whew. Yeah, but if that makes a lot of noise, the combat would also uh, make a lot of noise, I think. Oh boy, oh yeah, okay. We'll do that and see how that goes. So uh, ambient sound is actually the music, so... Alright. Alright guys, here we go. What do I have? I have the, the knife. No, bow. No, I want the staff. No, that's the knife again. Wait, is that this? Yep, that's the stuff. Oh, look at my claws! Woo-hoo! Oh, that is a beautiful picture. 
Please tell me you guys have a screenshot key in this game, right? Uh, control S. Control S? Wow, that's going to throw me off. Wait, that's just making me go backwards. Oh, oh. Wait, sorry, I think it's Alt S. <laughs> My bad. Oh, that made a little stoppy thing and everything. Yeah, that. Oh, that is beautiful. Nice. Well, at least I know control is crouch, guys. Haha, <laughs> I did learn that. Oh, that is so cool. But we need to go kill goblins. All right, look. And that's my skill bar over there. Wow. Can you move the UI around any? Because I don't know that I'm ever going to remember to look over there. <laughs> uh, yes, you can. You can move every uh, window in the UI uh, everywhere you want. Oh, yes. Come here. Come here, my little. Uh, I think we can. Wait. Oh, can we not change the orientation? Uh, not yet, sorry. <laughs> eh, okay, then we'll leave it over there. That's the problem when you have, like, a big monitor. I used to, I, <laughs> I have a friend who has, like, this, like, I don't know, 40-inch monitor. And then he's also played on his 65-inch TV, whatever. I played Darkfall on that, and I couldn't see anything around. I was just so big, I felt like I was getting whiplash, flipping my head from side to side, trying to see who was coming up on me over here, and who was doing this. Oh my goodness, that was kind of torture. All right, goblins, what... where are you? Ooh, is that a goblin? That's a goblin. I think. Or is that, no, that's a person. Nope. They're moving a bit too that's purposely. Another player yeah. Already, yeah but he's, he's heading towards the goblins, so you will be able to share the, um, <laughs> share the quest and kills together. <laughs> you mean so he can kill me? I uh, know you have you've got a newbie pro protection for twenty hours. You're uh, you're free. <laughs> oh, is that what the little circling thing in my head is? Yes, exactly. Oh, nice. So, by the way, everybody, this is a free look until the sometime super late Tuesday night our time Wednesday morning uh, yes. shuts down on Wednesday. In about thirty hours. Yeah. So if you guys want to play, download, get in, check it out. There's a box. Someone left a loot box. We're going to go over here and look at this. <laughs> Shiny! So, yes. Collectible Wait, things. Exploring. Ghost, but... Oh, is it? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Mine. Mine. My chest. Meditation points. Okay. Yeah. Usually, if it means chaos, I'd empty it and it would blow up on me. That's exactly what would happen. Yes, Darkfall has always been a beautiful world. And now it's getting to be a very dark world. Oh yes, uh, night is falling. And uh, we, we actually have very dark nights, so it's uh, it's going to be a bit hard to, uh, to see around. <laughs> Still have not seen a goblin. Uh, you, you were going the right way uh, when you were heading towards the chaos uh, chest. All right. If you open your map, uh, press uh, I believe M uh, mm -hmm. on your keyboard. It depends on uh, on your bindings actually. Uh, either M or comma, and uh, you you will be able to see. Uh, there you go. You need to zoom out a, a little bit, but you're um, zoom in a little bit, but you're um, you will be able to see all the spawns nearby, and uh, and the one uh, you have your quest on. Yeah, that's a... Oh, and I think chat is requesting you to to sprint <laughs> because you're moving too slow for them. That was sprinting! Where am I at now? Oh, there I am. See, uh, you, you're the little white arrow and uh, it's north of you. The spawn is north of you. All right.
Uh, yes, the character animation are dated. We we are uh, actually licensing projects. So the, the game is came out in two thousand nine, and uh, we took over, and uh, we are uh, we are fixing up all the flaws it had when it released, and trying to add content um, for the PVE. Uh, we we mostly added the ways to uh, to play as a group because initially when you you were fighting against monsters, uh, they were a static spawn. And, uh, and if you were more than two people, it, it started being a problem because you had to share kills, uh, share quest uh, counts, or, uh, or just share the loot. And it was uh, m most players were not enjoying that. So we uh, now, if you go with a, a full group of 10, 20 people, you'll be able to um, to fight enough monsters for it to be uh, fun and uh, lucrative for everyone. Does it have a dance animation? That's what Whiskers wants to know. <laughs> No, we ah! have dance animation. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait. There's nothing... What the... Okay. You're being shot at by a goblin there. <laughs> yeah. I'm just... There he is. Alright. What? Oh, not a bow and arrow. No way, MJ is not good with those. Yeah. You can use your staff for a mana missile if, it, if that's better for you. Oh, see, he's doing like I was doing. He was dodging. Ah. Oh. Come back here! Whoa! Ah! Give me your loot. Whew! Two out of four goblins. All I was doing was coming over here to hopefully loot something and... Ah, oh, come on! Alright, my health is doing pretty good. Where are you? Holy cow. Uh, when you loot things, uh, when you open a box, you can actually press F again for uh, an automatic loot all. Okay, that was not the one that was shooting me, because somebody was shooting me with an arrow. Uh, they can uh, swap from uh, range to, um, to melee, so okay. it could have been him. Oh! That look yeah, was a... them spawning? Uh, that's them scaling, so you see over there near, near that tree, it's another player. Yeah. And he started attacking, so now there will be more goblins for you guys to fight. I... <laughs> What if I don't want more goblins to fight? Well, he's gonna help you out. You're not alone there, and he seems to uh, to be holding his own fairly well. Stop going to the bow, man. Go back to the staff. Back to the staff. There we go. No! Back to the staff! Aw, oh, crud. That's a lot of... Whoops, there's another one. Well, I've got all four. I'm not sure if I have my axes or not. I'm not about to check, either. Uh, you don't have them yet, I think. Oh, uh, If okay. you press B, like backpack, uh, you should be able to see your backpack. <laughs> I'm not pressing that until I get away from these arrows a little bit. <laughs> At least, if you press number two on your, um, on your keyboard, you will start healing yourself. What is this? Three the same thing? What is that? Come again? Oh, three is... No, I was just looking at the different skills here. Uh, three is, uh, is to heal someone else. It's lay on hands to, to heal a friendly. Alright. No, we don't have anything that resembles axes. Bummer. Alright. Back to goblin killing. Oh, 
Oh, that's the player. <coughs> Don't want to shoot the player. Uh, you can tell me uh, for now. You both have the protection, so it should be fine. I know, I still don't want to have that, uh... Wait. Uh, you can try to heal him and help him out if you want. See, uh, the graves with the yellow um, aura around them are those that have not been looted yet. I know, every, but every time I go near one is when I get hit by more goblins. Where'd the guy go? There you are. Hey, let's come here. Let me use my three skill, dude. Did that heal him any? Yep, looks like it. A little bit. It's the heal over time, so it actually healed... Um, it seems like 10-15% of his uh, full health. Uh, it's pretty interesting to play support in, uh, in Darkfall, because all of your uh, healing spells and uh, buffs are aimed. So you, you really need to be a good uh, Twitch player to, uh, to heal your friends and have a good uh, grasp on the situation. Yeah, which is exactly why MJ will not be good at this game. Not a good Twitch player. Oh, jeez, there are so many of them out here. Holy cow. Climb the rock. Oh, I can. Oh, jeez. What do we have? Did I just growl? Oh. Oh, pre press one. Uh, you, you're stuck with the eating spell. There you go. Okay, there we go. All right, where's the other guy? Oh. I just don't have to aim at myself, right? <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a self cast. The healing is a self cast. <laughs> and, and if you get too low on uh, on stats, you can just hide behind the rock and uh, press H for uh, resting. Let's see this guy how he's doing. See, we, we have extra uh, skill gain, so you're uh, gaining a lot of skills <laughs> everywhere. You're already, <laughs> already level 11 in that. Too many crickets. Wait! Oh. Great. Oh, you're gonna run away, are ya? That's not working out so well. Run away, run away, run away. Oh! Nope, there we go. <laughs> They have to, I have to show them how you die in a game, because press space to leave your corpse and return to your bindstone. So uh, since you have newbie protection, your grave and everything on it is safe, so when you come back it will be there. But um, once you're out of uh, the new player protection, uh, you uh, uh, everyone can get what's on your grave, but they will lose the alignment if they are another wolf. So if that uh, over player uh, and uh, try to loot you, they would lose uh, a lot of alignment, and they would uh, like most of their quest rewards uh, would be uh, more than halved. Uh, probably uh, it would bring them down to one third of the rewards of any quests. Oh. And, um, yeah, we, we tried to expand on the alignment system because Darkfold was uh, kind of a gank box back then, and um, and now we uh, we are trying to like bring it more towards the RVR uh, kind of game. So now on that uh, screen, it's, you can see where you can respawn. Uh, the, uh, we, we changed the system before, you had only one bind stone, and now you will get to choose between multiple uh, stones near you. 
Uh, so you can see your, your little arrow there, that's you. And where you started out is uh, south southwest of you. West of you is the capital city. And if you wanted to change cities entirely, you could go to the uh, over starting area uh, cities. But I would recommend starting out uh, uh, at the one south of you. At Southern White Claw. Yeah, we can do that. Yes, yes. Death successfully demonstrated. I totally did that on purpose for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that was good journalism. Yeah. You did that for the viewers. <laughs> that is exactly the things I... Ex oh, shall we see if there's fall damage? Sure. Oh, wow. I think I need oh, to yes, rest before I... Oh, there is fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. This is... Yeah, I'm one bloody little elf at the moment. So, so if you if you remember your um yeah your healing spell is number two, Th those are the kind of spells that don't use regions, those that are currently bound on your um, hot bar. But for uh, more advanced spells, for, for example, if you wanted to start leveling fire magic, uh, you would need to use sulfur, and you had a um, starting gift of fifty sulfur on your um, on your uh, on your body earlier. So I have to go to my corpse and get my sulfur so I can shoot fireballs. Exactly. <laughs> Wow. We're just going to stand here for a little bit until I get some health. <laughs> Talk about being a bloody... If you press H, you can uh, rest. You will lay down on the ground and uh, get back health, uh, mana, and uh, stamina faster. Ah, nice. Sweet. Well, do you guys have more questions? You got a dev here. Take advantage of it. Just gonna sit in here, hanging out till I get some health. Uh, you can actually speed that up. Uh, I, I, I don't remember if you looted any, but uh, the goblins uh, drop some food, and if you eat the food, it will give you more uh, health and stamina regeneration. It's very important in Darkfall to always keep food up because you, well, you need your health and your stamina. Except I dropped everything, so it yes. doesn't matter. <laughs> OBS WTF is asking if you guys are getting name changes done in time for launch. Uh, it's been worked on. Uh, first, uh, there will be race change, which has been finished uh, during the night. And, uh, and then we, we're going to check if we can do a name change uh, quickly. It, it was not planned, so it's more of a bonus because people have been asking for it. But it's been worked on. Okay, so other than that little mark on the map, oops. Yeah, you need more northeast, so turn a bit right. Yeah, on your mini map, you can see your orientation. Uh... Mhm. Mm I'm just, you know, the orientation compared to where my my corpse is laying. Uh, Chet Lasker is asking if the game will support DX11 at launch. Uh, no, not at launch. Uh, we we have not. Uh, we we've investigated it. We we checked out, but to really benefit from it, we it would take a lot more work. So we are not uh, going into that route for now. But it's planned uh, later down the road. Uh... Okay. The, the general sweet. plan for uh, for launch is mostly to uh, to you know get everything ready for a um, for a wipe uh, and then uh, and have a stable economy and build up from there. All right, so sprint doesn't seem to be the shift key unless my character just doesn't sh sprint at all. What is what is the sprinting? Uh, keep it 
held down. Uh, I think you, you are sprinting, but it's uh, you have such a high uh, point of view that maybe you're not noticing. I was going to say, it doesn't look like any different. All right, this is the general area I know I died at. That's and if you want to have an easier time, you can also pick a specialization uh, to have uh, a bit more power uh, in attack. I I'll get over that once you get your grave back. Yeah. Body first. All right, grave, where are you in this mess? It will have a different glow than, uh, than the goblins' uh, graves. Yeah, there's a there's a green... You, you can see it on the minimap now. It's more yeah. east of you, northeast of you. Yep. Say, so there's another green one there. I wonder if that's the other player. Yeah, it might be another player earlier. Me! Mine! Okay. F doesn't necessarily work for loot all unless you press the button. Because it's not working. Just so you know. Oh, okay. okay. And I didn't break it, guys! But yeah, it doesn't seem to be working for me. If I press the button that says loot all, it will. But I can't actually press F and have that work. Ah! I got it an axe! Alright. Ha! Ah, see, I may have already killed enough to get an axe. Then ha on all you goblins, huh? That's right. Look at that. Got my axes. All my axes live in taxes. Oh, that doesn't quite work. Holy yeah, you've got both, and I think you completed both quests now. I did, so let's get away from the goblins. <laughs> yeah, get get back to the to the city and uh, and uh, and get back the quest. It will give you some uh, starting armor and things <laughs> like that. I know some armor, and yes, yes, you need to dodge arrows. <laughs> oh, hey, dude, do you need a heal? Don't run away, all. Oh no, you don't really need a heal. I'll give you one anyway. Wait, that did... Did that seem like a... Okay. That's another player and he's uh, harvesting uh, some wood there. Yep, yeah, uh, it was the same guy from before. Molten. Molten can. Molten, whatever. Sounded lava-like. Hey, Supreme Creator! Will the player-owned cities have portal chambers like the old Darkfall? Uh, no, they will not. Uh, we, we're going away from all the instant travels. Uh, we've implanted, implemented mount sprinting and mount inventories, and, and we're really go, uh, going for the, for the whole uh, localized world with uh, one place being um, um, you know, good for one type of resource and another place being good for another type of resource. And you cannot instantly transport from one to the other, and you have to actually have uh, players do, um, do trade or, uh, or travel. Cool. So there are going to be mounts. Are there going to be like some mounts that can carry a lot or carts or something? So people who want to transport big amounts of some kind of resource, you know, from one area to another, are they going to be able to do that? Uh, yes, they will be able to. Uh, we already have mounts in the game. Uh, like the basic mount will help you uh, carry a 600 kilogram. We have a faster, uh, lighter mount that can only carry 300 kilograms and we have a big uh, battle on which is a kind of uh, rhinoceros that can uh, carry up to uh, 1000 kilograms wow i want a rhinoceros <laughs> oh obs says he thinks it's a bug where the grave doesn't autofocus so that f wasn't work yes it seems like <laughs> the tutorial was taking the focus there so we uh, it's noted down and uh, we're gonna look into it <laughs> Yeah, if you ever want to find bugs in your game, watch a stream, because I come up with a doozy. <laughs> yeah, we, we tend to do that, actually. We <laughs> look at streams of new players, and we uh, we try to, to improve things like that. We even had people in the office that never played the game, and we just stared at them for hours. <laughs> <laughs> You're our lab rat. We shall watch you now. See, uh, Chet Lasker was asking about blue tail and battle horn mounts. Yes, those were the mounts I were talking about. The, the lighter one is a blue tail. It's like a, a, a deer you can ride. And the battle horn is a, is a rhinoceros that can... Uh, it has more armor, uh, HP, and can carry more. And down the line, we will expand with new mounts. Uh, but all of those kind of new assets uh, will come at a later point. Oh, look at this, guys. I get to put some clothes on. Except I'm going to cover my really awesome hair with this funky-looking skull cap. 
always with the funny looking hats. I've never liked helms in games. <laughs> Let's see. OG bet new dawn easier to kill vets than ROA. And Lani Laniu PL said, "Are you capable of creating X packs new style? Is that new systems? Do you mean uh, yes. new systems for the game? Land masses, creature bosses, etc. Or keep the ready this game." Oh, so you're basically asking if there's going to be expansions and moving on, or is this a done deal as it is? Uh, well, we can definitely expand the land masses. We have uh, uh, the world builder is uh, functional, so we can uh, um, do tweaks to the to the game world. We can add new systems. We can add new models, animation. Uh, a couple months ago, we managed to uh, to get all that working uh, fine. We added all the marketplaces, and the gnomes in them are uh, actually new additions to the game, and so are the buildings. So it's um, we can do everything we want uh, down the line. Uh, we, we've just focused during the, the in-depth period on uh, on uh, targeting the core flows of the game that were uh, really problematic in 2009. Uh, for example, for example, the alignment system, which is a lot harsher now. Um, the the specialization that was lacking. You had to grind everything back then, and uh, and today you can um, you can pick a, a perk that will give you like a better fire magic, but in exchange you're worse off in uh, over magics and in. Uh, uh, in melee uh, combat uh, and so on. So we've mostly uh, focused on the uh, foundational changes and core changes uh, so that during the live cycle of the game we can uh, focus on new content and have more, uh, you know, fun patches because if we do an overall that changes the game every three weeks uh, and uh, it's like a live population, people will not have as much fun than, um, than they should have. All right, now, <clears throat> newbie question. So do you have, like, torches or lamps or something that I could make and carry around so that uh, it's no, not quite not as yet. dark? <laughs> uh, no, not yet. But that's actually one of the one of the early suggestions we have. And we want to make the dark... The, the, we want to keep a dark night, but not as dark. And uh, we want to add some... Um, some lightning for uh, for people to use, but it needs to some. Uh, it needs a little expansion of the framework uh, for uh, dynamic lighting. Okay, there's there's like a beetle crawling at my feet, guys. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna. It's not a cockroach. It looks like a beetle. All right, and hey, Alpha Wolf, welcome. Let's see. Oh, so whiskers. Yeah, whiskers. You know what I'm thinking about. Is there an option to where you keep your helmet on, but you can hide it so that you can't see it? Uh, like any kind of appearance things, or is it just what's on your body is what shows on your character? Uh, that, that option is not in, and I'm not sure we're going to have one. Uh, sorry. Uh, but because uh, what you wear is actually a very, um, it's a telltale of what you are doing as a playstyle. If you wear a heavy helmet or if you uh, wear a, a cloak, it will uh, let pe players know if you're more of a physical build or more of a magical build. And uh, that's an in indication that is important in open world uh, PvP. You want to guess very quickly if you have um, what you are facing. That is true. Uh, OG's asking, have I never played Rise of Agon? I played uh, Unholy Wars. That's the Dark Fall I played. I just played Unholy Wars. I'm I'm basically wandering around looking at this really cool little city here. Waiting for the sun to come up so I could show it off better. So I keep running to things where there's light so people can see. <clears throat> now the game isn't quite as dark as you're seeing on Twitch, guys. Uh, the stream always darkens it a little bit. Oh, I totally thought this was going to be a little graveyard. I'm all disappointed. Alright, can I actually go into any of these buildings? I'm just, well, I'm gonna try. Uh, some of them you can, but not all of them. Gotta be a tavern around here somewhere. Come on, every good wolf needs a tavern, right? Yeah, sorry, OG, I don't... I don't know that I'll... Oh yeah, that, that person didn't have any quests, so eh. You don't want to talk to her. Uh, yes, you can see on the on the map some uh, markers for the uh, NPCs that have quests available. I think you still have some at the counselor, the first guy you were talking to earlier. Oh, but that's not as fun as just running around and checking things out. 
<laughs> oh yes, you can uh, you can go explore. Point point of note for MJ, she doesn't take the uh, quick you know direct efficient route ever. She takes the oh look over here oh look at this oh let's go check this out yeah. There was all follow the map no I don't want to follow the map. Whoa. Okay. Is that just another player? Is this like somebody's body here? Or did he just drop something when he growled? Did he kill oh, somebody? Oh no, he probably killed um, wildlife. There's rats oh. <laughs> and, uh, and other uh, kind of pests in, uh, in the cities and he must have killed one. You can actually skin it and get meat. And um, yeah, it, uh, it was a rat. And you can get some rat meat and make some food out of it. <laughs> I don't want to eat rat meat right now. <laughs> I don't want to hear me. My it's, goodness. It's a delicacy in, a, in a Mayan culture. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm like looking around and I hear behind me to a side. Rah! Yeah, that kind of freaks me out a little. Especially in a PvP game. Even though I know I have the little high, you can't kill me for 24 hours. If I were to even let my brain think that, then at 25 hours, I'd still be like, I'm safe. I can go anywhere. This will be fine. Yeah. So no, MJ just doesn't even think that. Not safe. Not safe. She does not pretend she's say. Ooh, there's a mage this way. Darina the mage. Hey, Darina the mage, do you have anything for me? Um, probably regents uh, for new spells, and um, and uh, they can uh, sell you some uh, some spell upgrades. Uh, for example, your um, like your firebolt earlier, you you could uh, speed its travel time up or increase its damage. You can only have one uh, of both of them. Ooh, fire magic spells, firebolt. Choose an upgrade. It's gonna cost some gold though, so I don't think you have enough. No, I, I don't. I I mean, I do have some gold. I've I've earned a whopping three hundred nineteen. Uh, that would be enough for uh, like a starting weapon or a new staff if you want to start magic or uh, start midi. Uh... Oh, yeah, a thousand gold right at the moment. Ouch. All right. We need to we need to kill more goblins and get more gold, I guess, for that. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. The sun will come out. Oh, look at that statue. Go away, UI. I want a picture of the statue. Uh, if you press Alt H, uh, I believe it removes your in interface. Aha! Oh. That guy's just like shooting. And if you press F12, uh, you will be in first person, so you will not have your character on the screenshot. <laughs> I'm gonna run around like eight hours like this now. Just taking pictures of all the... Okay, there was collision with that little rat. Well, that's amazing. Uh, yes, uh, Darkfall has a great engine. Uh, you, you get full collision with every other uh, entities in the game world. So it's... Uh, like, you can actually block... Um, like, if you have a, a gate you want to prevent people from coming in, you can actually block it with a shield wall and, uh, and things like that. Uh, players are, are more, a lot more dynamic in PvP, but that's... Uh, it, it just influences everything. Wish this guy would get out of my screenshot. Go away. Oh, there he goes. Ha ha. Don't mess with MJ screenshots. Alright, alt. Wait, we had alt. H. Okay, there we go. Oh, sweet. It's looking really good. Darth Ball, three hours later, still going in a straight line. Totally lost help. What? What do we have over here? Spool is saying, question, any full loot game needs to have a balanced amount of weapons armor added into the economy as being removed. How are developers going to make sure enough weapons and armor are being destroyed in the game as being crafted by players to keep the economy healthy? Uh, yes. So for now, there is a durability system. Every uh, armor and weapon that you use uh, over time will lose durability and break down. Uh, but we're also looking at um, the option to have uh, 
on gank or on def uh, destruction of durability uh, so that when when gear uh, passes hands it loses a, a good deal of uh, of its uh, presence in the world and that way it also reduces like the, the monopoly effect of having the the winners uh, always stash a lot more than the losers ah cool oh what is that sound it's like a tuning fork somewhere in the city. How many players are online, like, right now? Well, I can't count, but we've run past a few here in Newbie Land. But see, most people... Ooh, rat. Most people who started this probably started, you know, at the beginning of the weekends when it started. Erp spawn. Press G with a sickle in your backpack to harvest. Yar. Uh, that's a leftover. You can actually do it straight away. Uh, we removed all the tools from um, from being necessary, and uh, we need to update that uh, tooltip. Well, it puts a sickle in my hand, so. And, and that will uh, gather um, some uh, some herbs for you. That uh, if you if you pick the the al alchemist uh, title, you will be able to uh, to craft into potions and uh, and uh, other things uh, that are useful. It will also drop uh, after a while if you're lucky. Uh, what is called a steel grass that can be used to uh, tame a mount and uh, and uh, ride around uh, with a with a mount. Okay. Apparently, audio options doesn't work because. Uh, there is some latency between okay, the time you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was worrying me for a minute. Okay, yep, it did. It just took a little bit of time. And I know uh, Chad had just suggested turn off ambient sounds to better hear PvP and all. But you know what? If, if I can't have ambient sounds in the game, then I'm not interested in playing. So that doesn't work well for me. <laughs> And the ambient sound are mostly music, so it doesn't really um, factor in a lot uh, in uh, in open world. You you will hear footsteps uh, either way. You just have to find the balance between uh, the music and the and the game sounds. Oh, that's the marketplace. That's why one of the things we added. Uh, you, uh, you you can open it up and uh, and uh, sell things to other players. It's it's like an auction house in uh, in other games. Oh yeah, somebody's trying to sell apples and sulfur. For all those fireball flinging people. Yeah, it's it's fairly empty for now because uh, during in dev people have not been uh, trying out the markets a lot, but uh, it should uh, fill up to, during the the live release. Let's see, and Whiskers is saying, "Ooh, armor smiths are going to make a fortune on me from death to on armor." Thanks, Whiskers. Love the confidence there. <laughs> Let's see, Alaka 1, it's probably M. Oh, there we go. And. Hyge. 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 Local banking. It, I think. Oh. <laughs> serves the economy. People seem to think it'll cause attrition regarding trade between players. But, but it's just a local market, right? Yeah, that was just a local uh, market. But I think the question was more uh, uh, general about the, the overall local uh, banking system. I think, I think a lot of people are not used to, uh, to a game with local banking. There's very few of them out there. There's, uh, there's EVE Online, which is like the, um, the, the most successful one. There's uh, Albion that tried it out lately. There's Mortal Online. There's a lot of games that have local banking, and, and it's, it's just a tool for an end. It depends how you, you use it. Like in, uh, in the survival games, uh, local banking is used to make the game more hardcore. Uh, in Darkfall, in the way you, you, we use it, it's it's more to make the game uh, more convenient because uh, you have localized resources and um, and someone else will want to make benefit from uh, from uh, harvesting it for you and uh, making a profit margin. So an, a regular player uh, can just go about his life without ever worrying about crafting. Uh, they just have to um, to purchase what they need and uh, and uh, and. And all the players that really enjoy those kind of gameplay, like uh, MG was saying earlier that she, she liked those kind of things, uh, they, they, they will be able to, uh, to like have their own play style, have fun, uh, trade, move things around, sell things around, and, uh, and, and provide like, the, the basic uh, necessities for, uh, for the economy. And, and, and the local banking is like the first step of following that kind of play style. 
Wow. Yeah, catching rats is hard. <laughs> it... Goblins are easier than rats. <laughs> I think I killed it and it went under the floor. It went away. Darn little... Darn little rat. All right. Do they have plans to add mount tagging so other people can't take them right away in towns before launch? Uh, yes, it has been worked on. Uh, we are trying to uh, our others to get it uh, ready for launch. If it's not at launch, it's just going to be a few days later. Dude, the problem with the rats is they look like the ground and I lose them. There's one. <laughs> I was trying to practice using a sword. Yeah. There's a kill ten rats quest in here. I'm in deep, deep trouble. No, we don't have any of those. <laughs> Maybe we should add them just for you. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa! There was a break. Wow, I sound really kind of vicious when I'm swinging at this rat. I don't think that's the same rat. No, that's a new leaf. That's a fresh, healthy rat. They're tag teaming me, dudes. This is, this is terrible. Oh my goodness. Well, I wrecked the rat for 10.39 points of health. <laughs> I wrecked it. All right, blue blocky when someone who is blue purposefully steps in front of your swings to make you rogue. Well, uh, th that's why we extended the new player protection so that until they start to get their bearings, uh, they cannot be griefed that way. And uh, and um, th there will be more steps going on. Like uh, uh, in other games, you have some more tolerance between uh, getting uh, the, the penalties of eating a friendly and uh, and eating a friendly. So you will get some more tolerance. But we, we're going to keep... Um, that's something that's never going to be fully solved, I think. Uh, it's uh, one of the issues when you want to keep friendly fire. Uh, for the sake of PVE and the quality of the game, you will have to uh, to accept some level of uh, of P player agency uh, to say it positively. And uh, for the other question of incarnation, um, the strong boxes now need a lot more room to be uh, deployed, so they should not be uh, easy to deploy in uh, in a location where they can uh, block people. Uh, for instance, for example, in a tunnel, it won't have enough place for the um, for the strong box for uh, being placed. Okay. Oh. For a second, the thing circling in my head looked like a meteor. I was like, "Oh, look, a cool meteor!" No, it wasn't. It's just a newbie protection. <laughs> you you was you will have to start <laughs> worrying when you don't see it anymore. I know. <laughs> Let's see, Alako. It's gonna be like at the start of Darkfall originally. You'll have to be careful. Yeah, if you're in, like, first person and somebody jumps right in front of you right as you swing your sword, that would kind of suck, but... Yeah, it, it happens. People do stuff like that. Oh, down. Here we go. Down this way. As long as it's more experienced players, they know how to deal with the, those kind of things. Uh, we, we're just focused on um, protecting people like that really are starting out. And if you have 20 hours of newbie protection, most players... Uh, for most players that play like one or two hours a day, that, that gives them a, a full week before uh, really uh, getting into trouble. They, they get to really uh, get used to the game and the controls before having to face other players. That's that's really our goal right now. It's to, to let people have some um, room, some breathing room when they start out and then uh, uh, get on with their uh, in-game lives. I go deliver a package. Oh. To Selene the Arcanist, which we've already been up to see. Okay. Fine. And report to the blacksmith. Ah, oh, okay. I was gonna go check out that thing over there, but... Yeah, we don't need to run a quest. Right, guys? We're just gonna wander over here and take a look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, over there I think it's the capital city, uh, so it's pretty huge <laughs> See, you you can get lost in it uh, I, I was on a stream with another uh, person a, a while back and I, we both got lost in that city oh my goodness i'm just trying to see now how do we how do you get to it 
Uh, if you uh, follow the coast to your right uh, towards Just the north, go to you that will, building. Uh, reach the entrance. Yes. All right. There we go. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Echo Dark Falls, one of those games in which you have to have some more perspective in your surroundings and other players as you learn. And Spool question. How much progress toward the Watchtower system have the developers made and when can we expect to see it implemented? Okay, for, for those who do not know, the Watchtower system is um, is a, a taxation and a territory control uh, system that we want to add. Uh, you, you basically place Watchtowers around your holdings and uh, and uh, then you can upgrade them, add some uh, like um, like a, a forester and uh, or other type of NPCs that will allow to tax the world or uh, or buff the, the nodes around it or buff the monsters, and um, that's sort of the dynamic placing uh, of items to uh, to make the world your own, and um, and and that's a pretty advanced question because it's something that we uh, we wanted to have ready uh, pretty early on. Uh, we uh, we've done some uh, investigation. Uh, we already know uh, everything that is technically possible. We've been able to place uh, items dynamically uh, in the world, uh, but the world system will will have to come a bit later on because um, seeing how player reacted when we uh, announced our final roadmap, it seems like people are more interested in um, in uh, alignment changes and uh, and buffing the racial wars. Uh, and, uh, and and we've sort of been convinced by the players on that front that uh, that giving more um, open um, access um, goals to people that are not solely focused on uh, clans and conquests uh, may be better to do early on. So instead of doing the watchtower, uh, we, at first we will do some um, racial war uh, related changes. For instance, all the reward structure around killing enemies and, uh, and helping out friendlies uh, that will give you a meditation and that will give you some uh, uh, incentive to defend uh, the motherland, if you, if you see what I mean. Cool. And, and it's also um, the watchtower is also meant as a system to um, check this right on that to to uh, to prevent uh, sieging from being too easy. So if you you will have to destroy all the watchtowers around the holding before being able to siege the city itself. So so war will go from uh, one evening and one battle uh, to multiple battles over multiple evenings and hopefully like a back and forth of uh, of a few uh, weeks, which we hope will uh, will become really epic. And uh, and our plan is uh, that like we finish most of the alignment and, uh, and racial uh, changes early on, and then we uh, we implement the watchtowers. Nice. Uh, K thirty eight fish taco says, "I love this game. I would love to play New Dawn version, but the ping to soul is must be too much." You can actually try it out, uh, try your ping, and uh, during the free period, you can also try to see if it's playable for you. We did a lot of changes to make the latency less of a, ne a negative impact in game. Like you, you, we have some action queuing, we've uh, we've optimized the inputs and uh, and the connection and the you know interaction between uh, you pressing your key and the game reacting. So uh, we we get some positive um, reports from uh, even people from Australia that they can uh, play the game uh, relatively enjoyably and. Uh, Actually, Australians uh, are um, are pretty good at the game, and uh, we've got people on the west coast and uh, and with around 180, 200 ping that are enjoying the game. So maybe it's going to be fine for you. That's that's really something that is personal. If uh, if it frustrates you, uh, or if you don't like anticipating on um, on the latency of overs, then it's going to be a bad experience. But it's always worth trying out. Some people have been enjoying it. Yeah. So you've got a free day, guys. Give it a try. Now, this is according to when I logged in. This is actually a European server? Uh, correct. We, we have a single global server, and it's located in Paris. Uh, we, um, uh, we initially uh, were, uh, were not sure we, if, if we were going to launch it in uh, NYC or in uh, Europe. Uh, but after doing some more uh, market research, it, it seemed like it was the best location for the long-term growth of the game. It seems like uh, European and uh, Eastern people are more uh, in tune with uh, uh, retro uh, MMORPGs because we do have dated graphics, so we need to um, uh, we need to have a more lenient uh, player base at least at the start. It is. I mean, you could say dated graphics and maybe the character model, but. I mean, these cities, I think, are looking good. Oh, yes. There the seem to be builders, more details uh, and... 
the, the people that made the world were very talented like you you can see that there's a lot of um, thought uh, in, in placed into the the world building and that's something that that we really wanted to uh, save with uh, darkfall Ah, how do I unequip my weapon? Uh, press R. R. Ah, there we go. Yeah, lots of cool screenshot opportunities, guys. And th this is um, the Mayrin capital city, so they have this whole uh, cult uh, with the various moons of the world, like uh, Aegon has uh, three moons. And uh, they each have their own uh, stories uh, for the for the moons. I'm not familiar with all the lore in depth right now, but it's um, I remember reading it, and it's pretty interesting what they their belief system. Nice. Okay, that looked like a very crushing something. Let's go check this out. Uh, that's that's like an um, elevator. So if you if you can get there in time, you can uh, have a nice uh, view from uh, on the top. It looks less like an elevator and more like something that's coming down to crush the life out of you. <laughs> Thankfully, it won't damage you, so that's one less way of dying in that one. <laughs> I could jump off the edge and die. Yep, yep, I could totally do that. If you want to have a wider edge, <gasps> you can increase your um, your uh, your field of view in the game. Right now it's at 106 degrees, and you can have it at 120 degrees if that's uh, if you want better screenshots. Ah, oh, these are good screenshots. Ooh, look at that, guys! Look at the city. That is pretty awesome. Aleko, do you guys plan to make it easier to get into elf capitals, like a staircase up rather than just the lift? Uh, not in the short term, but we we know those trees are a pain. <laughs> we we've <laughs> lived in a uh, in a in a Mirandil before, and it was a kind of a, <laughs> a bummer every time you fell down. <laughs> and Spool Liger is asking, how many new quests have been added to the game? Are there any late game type quests planned, or more quests in the future? Uh, we actually have not added a lot of quests. We uh, we added, I think. Uh, maybe nine or ten at most uh, for uh, for new players to get mounts, but um, we our main focus. Uh, one of our first patch made all the um, all the quests meaningful to do thanks to the meditation drops. So a lot of people have been actually confused and thought that we were the one introducing all those quests to the game, but they were there in, back in 2009. Um, and and in the medium term, uh, we want to add more. Um, more quests to uh, dungeons, uh, some some hunting quests on subcontinents, and uh, and things for um, for all the barren uh, places in the world that do not have quests. So yes, there will be more quests. Right now, no, there's no more. Uh, there's no new quests, but it will come. They will build it, and you will come. Whiskers is assuring you that I will find ways to die that you had never dreamed of before. <laughs> I will show you, Will. <laughs> that is that is true. I could find ways to die almost anything. Alaka, the only downside to being Meridian is the capital. The added meditation rewards to all quests that they give minimum of 400 MP. Crest rewards proportional to duration as blue player's alignment. Oh, that uh, that's didn't... a quote from a patch note, actually. Okay, I was going to uh, say, that didn't sound like a question. That sounded like a statement. Yeah, it's, it's more of an answer, and uh, uh, we actually buffed that. It's no longer 220%, but a later, um, a later patch brought it up to 260%. That, that's uh, what I said earlier with, uh, when you were uh, asking if you could kill the other player, I think. Uh, if, you, if you lose any alignment, like if you uh, uh, steal from uh, another player's grave, if you kill someone, if you gank someone, uh, you will... Uh, lose alignment which uh, after a while will make you red and uh, make you lose access to npc cities uh, but you will also have your uh, something we call the track record be reset and and that's what gives you buff for um, meditation points uh, and gold and uh, reward uh, from quests 
and we will use that track record for uh, a lot of other features. And uh, and once that track record is uh, at zero, it will remain uh, until you are back into uh, blue status. And if uh, if you are blue status, it will grow slowly one point every six hours until you, you reach back 100% bonus. Wow. So... Oh gosh, I had a thought in there during that. Oh yeah, no, I wasn't asking if I could kill the other player. The point was trying to see if the player could kill me. Oh yes, that's <laughs> sorry. MJ does <laughs> not go and gank other players. MJ goes up and says, "Hi, need any help?" And then they kill her. So um... yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, usually the first question is, "Can I kill him?" <laughs> so <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I was just going. If I walk over there, can he kill me? See, Whiskers is asking about the crafting system. Are there specialties like armor, weapons, and food? Uh, yes, uh, actually, if you if you don't mind showing them off, uh, like the, the title system, if you press escape and uh, click on the title in the, in the menu, um, every craft, every item uh, that the user can use, um, well, most of them are craftable. And I need to be crafted by a player with a specific specialty. So if you if you click on titles, it's on the bottom right, just above options. Um, ah, there we go, titles. All right. Uh, you, you will be able to select like a weapon smithing, a shield crafting, armor smithing, and all those things. And um, yeah, th that means that those players are the only one that can uh, craft those uh, those items. If you choose a category, uh, you can open industry. Yep, I already got it. I'm ahead of you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, sorry. And uh, and then you 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 can pick all those uh, different uh, crafting, uh, I would say jobs, uh, and it's it's what we call the title system. It's it's title because like you 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 would be uh, the fire mage or uh, the the armor smith or the the forager, and and those are and you combine five titles to to create your own playstyle. Uh, you you could have mostly combat. Um, abilities there you could have a, a mix of a bit of industry and a bit of combat or you could be only crafting and um and uh, and essentially uh, for crafting uh, you will need to have the title and and uh, you unlock new recipes over time so if you remain uh, if you remain uh, like a weapon smith for uh, three days then you will unlock uh, rank uh, 10 um, weapons if you wait for three more days then rank 20 and and so on until you max out your uh, your title Ah, okay, Alako, a question in regards to the rank 80 weapons and sea towers. Any future plans on opening up the sea towers, reworking them, and will we get material drops for the R80s further down the line? Uh, yes, uh, yes to both questions. Uh, the sea towers uh, will be reworked in a similar way to the village control points. So it, it won't be... Um, whoever has the last shot that will win it will be whoever managed to uh, fend off enemies the longest around the, the tower and uh, and for the racial mats they will be added later on uh, most likely with new content uh, like the the wild nodes uh, that we want to add cool and Malent says is there a bonus for staying within a racial only clan it's more that there isn't a malice. Um, if you remain racial aligned, you you keep your um, you keep your blue status. If um, it's not a, a planted yet, but it's going to be implemented like in a, um, if it's not at launch, it's going to be a few days later on or a, a week later on. If you are in a non-racial clan or if you are in a clan that accepts uh, red players, uh, the entire clan will be uh, permanently grey. So you will lose access to villages, you will, uh, to, to NPC cities, and uh, this means that you will not have any um, safe uh, trading, you will not have uh, any safe spot in the world. Uh, you will be stuck in the chaos cities where everyone can kill you and where uh, trading is dangerous. Wait, so if, if any person, is it just accepting someone who's already red, or if any person in your clan actually goes red, the entire clan suffers? Uh, th there, is, there will be a system where the, if someone turns red, he is automatically kicked uh, to prevent that kind of uh, griefing. But it's, it's a, essentially that if your clan accepts red players or if your clan accepts um, racial enemies, uh, your clan is considered a traitor clan and it will be uh, permanently rogue until they, uh, they uh, get their um, alignment uh, straight. Wow, so then if you then kicked the person that was 
say, an enemy race, then your alignment gets fixed? Uh, yes, correct. Wow. Wow! Yeah, that, we, we're really going hardcore on the, um, on the alignment rules because we, like, it did not work in the original Darkfall. Uh, people eventually all became red and just ignored the whole uh, racial war. But that, we think that's something that really gives a lot of content to the game. Like, um, and, uh, you know, Wilm Pride, we, uh, we loved uh, all those old games like Dark Age of Camelot where you really felt you were part of something bigger. And, and we want uh, players that are not part of a clan to still have that kind of a sense of community, like you're a wolf, and every time you meet a wolf in the in the wild, you know that's a friend that is not there to kill you, but is there to help you out, which makes the one in the android that will try to kill you all the more, uh, you know, engaging. It's like those uh, infamous uh, legends, like it's um, it's it's the important interaction uh, to to create stories. Oh, interesting. I know there's at least going to be some people out there being like, I'm a bad wolf. <laughs> oh, yes. And, and, and we want them. We want. We actually want them to exist. But uh, it comes under the constraint of um, that's going to be the hard mode. Like, the, um, like you, you are playing a different game. If you, if you want to be red, you can. But it, you have to have that mind, mindset that you're going to be playing like a... Um, uh, a specific art mode or you know ng plus whatever you would call it in other games it's it's really a, like a, a online roguelite um that, that's how i perceive it is you it's it's fine to play that way but you will always lose a lot but when you do win it's uh, it's going to be exhilarating it's going to be exciting it's going to be great but not everyone can do it <laughs> you have to be really good to do it yeah so <laughs> the comment i can see why people want to go al far now yeah they don't have any you know, they, everyone's they an no enemy, allies. so no allies, so everybody's a, everybody's dangerous. <laughs> and that's kind of the balancing of the, of the races, like you have the human dwarves and elves that are allied together, uh, but they, they, they're spread uh, in three different lands. Um, and, and most people uh, that don't, don't want maybe to, to do a lot of PvP or want to be more, um, have more allies will go there. Uh, but then alphas are a single race, they are alone, and uh, everyone that wants to have that kind of mindset that it's us against them and uh, them is everyone else, uh, they will play alpha and, and, and will enjoy it. So you have three races that can end up having uh, just as much population as a single race. Wow. I don't want to be alpha. I like... I mean, I, I thought it was cool looking race and everything, but but I'm a wolf! Yeah, and my rims are pretty popular, and um, and orcs are uh, are their allies, and uh, and I think maybe orcs and my rims have the most um, RP roleplay clans and the most organized clans uh, currently. Nice. And, uh, throughout in they've, they've been they've had a very strong presence, and uh, back in, I think I remember even back in Darkfall there were um, there were a few good uh, uh, tribes and uh, and wags if you. <laughs> yeah, my my original Darkfall character was the wolf as well. Oh, wow. Well, I was a boring human. <laughs> I fought <laughs> wolves. Oh. Terrible, terrible life choices you have made. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. Forgive me. <laughs> well, guys, we're probably going to need to call it because it is definitely late. We've really been enjoying having Mark here answering our questions and everything. And... Um, if you have any last questions, throw them out real quick, guys, because we're going to be heading out here. MJ's got some stuff she's got to accomplish, and some of it involves a pillow. <laughs> actually, she's got her dinner. She kind of needs to actually eat, even though it's 1030 at night. I don't know. See, I'm curious, would there be something down the line for a trader payment to hide that your clan is red, gray, but with really heavy upkeep? Uh, that's not planned, and uh, and maybe never because we don't want to undermine the whole system. All right, and Whisker says, "Will you ever add tails to the, or can you please add tails to the wolves?" That's <laughs> uh, maybe if we, uh, if and when we rework the <laughs> the mod and send animation. Yeah, I actually never noticed that they don't have a tail. That, that's actually shocking now that he mentions it. 
Yeah, come on, a tailless butt on a wolf just does not look right. <laughs> I didn't need to the to-do list. <laughs> oh, Alien Legion just gave us 200 cheers. Woo! Let's see, Alago says, no, don't give the wolf a tail. My clan is already forcing me to go out far. Well, you picked the wrong clan, man. Oh, can you have a tail for all the races? <laughs> Maybe if you kill a Mayrim, you can skin him and get tail and uh, just add it <laughs> onto your uh, armor. <laughs> oh gosh, that's terrible. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. We so appreciate you jumping in and hanging out with us here, answering all these questions that everybody has. And no, Alako, you can't, you can't kill and skin me. So no, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Thank you for jumping in and helping us to show off this game. So this is the first look uh, that I've done in New Dawn. First time I've logged in and checked things out. Now you guys can do the same all through tomorrow, through tomorrow night. So you've got 24 hours and hey, you'll be safe because it'll be, you know. Oh, if you've got the 24 hour, you know, you can't be killed on. Can you still kill another player? Uh, no, you cannot damage them. So it's a, it's a, a two-way protection. Okay, so if you decide to come in and check it out, you're you're not able to get into the PvP game right now because your 24 hours is is basically pretty much going to be counting that. But you can come in, check it out, run around, check the different races. And, of course, when the game launches, it's actually going to launch in four days. It is a subscription game. And so you'll be able to come in and start up. Now, people who start up their characters now will be able to actually keep their characters when it launches if they decide to do that, correct? Uh, yes, the name and race will carry over and, uh, and a, a portion of the unspent meditation point you've earned. Uh, like if you do uh, the starter quest during the free trial and you buy the game before we, uh, we launch it, uh, before we close down the trial, then you, you can carry over some, some of the meditation so you don't have to um, redo it uh, on launch. Okay, but if they buy it sometime after launch, they'll pretty much still be starting over, but they'll still have their character and race, or and they'll have all their spent meditation points. Uh, no, no, no. If they buy after we close down in dev, uh, they will not get any carryover. They will just be able to play uh, from the startup. Okay. Yeah, we, it's sort of uh, like a um, um, pre-order and. Uh, early adopter perk uh, that we do that. We also have currently some very good um, deals on the early adopter uh, packages. If you take more than the basic deal, it's going to be uh, cheaper than, um, than uh, if you buy it after release. Ah, there you go, guys. So if you check it out, you like it, or if you even think you might like it, better to get in and getting it right away. Uh, then if you need to take a break, you take a break, and then you come back and just go after... All the Alfar, apparently. <laughs> Wipe the Alfar out. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is it for tonight. And our look, we got to look at Red Moon. We got to do some quests. We got to kill some goblins. We got to die. I mean, a nice, fun day. And, of course, our special guest, our, our, our surprise guest. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. And thank oh. everybody in chat for coming, asking your questions, checking things out. We appreciate having you here. Any parting words you'd like to give the folks? Uh, well, thank you for having me, and uh, thank you for showing off the game, and uh, see you all uh, on the 26th, and uh, uh, have fun. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, if you want to learn more about the game, definitely check out MassivelyOP.com. We've got some information there all about Darkfall New Dawn, so you can read up on it, and, of course, keep an eye on the schedule so you can know when stuff is going to be shown off and if i get the opportunity again maybe we can jump in and check things out another time so have a great night everybody and we'll see you on the site good night